on this episode of Suburban Shorts. Baton Rouge, you've seen it, I've seen it, everyone's seen it, right? It's in DDO, right smack in the center of St. John's, central in the West Island. All roads lead to Baton Rouge. It's true, look at this. <laughs> it being there for 24 years, that means most of us have been there probably for supper. I mean, I've only been for supper, but today I'm gonna do something different. Today I'm gonna do something with Baton Rouge that I've never done before. I'm going for lunch. <laughs> That told Rouge is three owners, John, Jimmy, and Peter. But I had the chance to sit down with Jimmy. And he told me that Baton Rouge, this coming fall, is gonna go through a little bit of a change. It's a new feature for Baton Rouge. Something new, innovating, different, fresh. And they're doing this by introducing a brand new menu this fall for lunch and supper. But it will have something for everybody. Being the curious guy that I am, I wanted to go in the back and see how they were gonna make these plates, like the shows like the cooking shows. I wanted to see how he makes these plates. I wanted to hear how passionate he was about these plates. Pat, passion! He's got passion for his product. Okay. Hi, I'm Charles. I'm the corporate chef from uh, Baton Rouge. We have a lot of nice things coming up at Baton Rouge this fall, and we want to show you a bit of that today. All right. Charles showed me the making of five new plates, and man. So the spinach dip is the same, but what I've worked on is their presentation. You know, we eat a lot with our eyes, right? So if it looks great, it's gonna taste even better. Oh my God. Mm. Oh boy. Halloumi cheese. We're gonna serve it with a little bit of cherry tomato. It's a nice, sweet, smoky flavor. Mm. We have like a poke bowl that we've introduced this summer. Oh my God. I don't even know where to start with this. It's very nice. It's very salty when you take a bite out of it. Avocado, the tuna. Tuna. We have some edamame. Edamame. <laughs> Roasted sesame oil in there. It's the very flavorful. Oh my god. I'm starting to get happy, like food drunk. Mm. All right, next up. Never had lobster before in my life. Top sirloin, see our lobster tail, and I want to go around with that. It's softer than fish. Oh my god, and the steak. All our steaks are going to be served with these three sauces. That makes a difference. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Now it is a steakhouse, right Jimmy? It is a steakhouse. It's the best steak that you can find in the West Ham. But we need something for everyone. This is a part of the rejuvenation that they're doing. The new plates. It's gonna be completely out of the Baton Rouge. You're gonna say, what? What? This and Baton Rouge? We're gonna be serving the Beyond Meat Burger. It's been a great success everywhere. This at Baton Rouge? It's a Beyond Burger, which means, I don't know what it means. <laughs> it's not beef. This is vegetarian through and through. Excellent product. Come and enjoy it anytime. Wow. It really looks like beef. That's fantastic. It looks like a burger, though. So we all know how great Baton Rouge is for dinner. Some of us might not know how great it could be for lunch too. They have light lunch options. The food came wicked fast. I say wicked because I'm 40 years old. You're feeling light, you're feeling refreshed, and you had a chance to get out of the office for about 40 minutes, which is an incentive for me, as much as I enjoy your company. <laughs> it's time for us to bring passion back in our lunches. Passion, passion like Charles has for those plates. Time to bring passion back for our lunches. Baton Rouge. <laughs>